Well, how's it going there? I'm Levi Peters and this is Levi Explains on MI Gardener. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, why are you talking in a terrible Irish accent for? Because it's not even near St. Paddy's Day at all. It's near Halloween. Well, there's a reason for that because today we're talking about the jack-o'-lantern or the history of the jack-o'-lantern and our story begins in Ireland. All right, I'll cut the crap. All right, so the jack-o'-lantern, we all know what that is and it's common during Halloween. The origins of it, not as many people know about. We just do it, but we don't know about it. So that's what we're talking about today. This is the kind of break from the more biology-based segments, but hey, this is Levi Explains, and I'm just gonna explain anything, really. Hmm. So yeah, let's just get into it. A quick history of the jack-o'-lantern. Now, there's a few ideas of where the jack-o'-lantern came from. People have been actually carving into squash and other fruits for thousands upon thousands of years, but the jack-o'-lantern in particular comes from Ireland, or just the British Isles in general. It's a big Celtic thing. Now, there's a bunch of versions of the tale, but I'm just gonna tell you my favorite one. So Stingy Jack was a cheapskate and a drunkard and just an all around not good guy. And one time at the pub, he was having a drink with the devil. And since he didn't wanna pay for it, because obviously Stingy Jack, he convinced the devil to turn into a dime or a coin, whatever, to pay for the drink. So he puts the devil in his pocket as a coin, but there's a cross next to him so the devil can't transform back into his old demonic self. So he uses that as blackmail. So he goes to the devil and he says, no, look, I'll set you free only if you leave me alone for at least 10 years. Something along those lines. So the devil promises and he lets him go. Then another time, 10 years later, he convinces the devil to climb up an apple tree. And when the devil does, he finds all these crosses that Jack put there. And then he's stuck and he can't get down the devil. So then he goes to the devil and he says, all right, Chanel, this is my last time. And I'm not gonna let you down until you promise me that you will not send me to hell when I die. And so then the devil goes, okay, okay, yes, yes, yes. Just get me down, get me down. And he gets down. So then eventually Jack dies. And when he goes up to the pearly gates, St. Peter's there waiting for him, but he's like, yo, you know what? You're a pretty bad dude. You're a cheapskate and you're pretty mean. So you're going to hell. So off he goes to hell and then the devil says, oh no, I can't take you because I promised. So guess I can't take you either. And Jack goes, oh, well, where am I going to go now? What am I going to say? So the devil goes home and says, well, I guess you're just going to have to wander the world for the rest of eternity. And so Stingy Jack is like, I don't, well, where am I gonna go? How am I gonna see? It's so dark in the netherworld. So the devil takes a burning coal from hell and gives it to him and says, that's to light your way. <laughs> and so he takes that burning coal, Jack, and he's stuck it in a squash. And now he wanders the rest of the world for all eternity. And now he is Jack of the Lantern. So yeah, that's the story. But it doesn't end there. Now it was originally, like I said, it was a squash because pumpkins are a new world plant. So when the Irish and the Scottish immigrated to the US, they used pumpkins instead. Yeah, so there you go. That's the history of the jack-o'-lantern. And now you'll have a conversation starter when you're at that Halloween party and you know nobody. So there, hope it helped. All right, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Ciao. Stingy jack-o'-lantern. Come on, you didn't get the laugh, final laugh.